I think quality of life is such an important part of our community here in Logan. That's what draws people here. We have such great outdoor amenities, whether it's the mountains, the rivers, our beautiful valleys. We need to really focus on that and preserve that and make sure it's there for the next generation and for all of us to enjoy now. Because again, as development continues to create buildings and structures, we also need a wild place in our life. By having this river restoration that will create just great places where we can enjoy that little slice of nature. A lot of the management of the river over the last 100, 150 years has removed a lot of the native vegetation that was around the river. We've introduced a lot of species that have sort of taken over uh, the native vegetation and don't provide nearly as much habitat for birds and other wildlife. And then also we've restricted the flow of the river and cut the river off from its floodplain. And so I got together with a number of people to form what's called the Logan River Task Force. It's a very broad group that have very broad interests, but they all revolve around the Logan River. The task force is working directly with BioWest, who is writing what's called the Conservation Action Plan, or a CAP. And that covers over 20 different indicators of health of the river. So we evaluated all of those indicators to see what's the current condition now, what's the target condition, what, what's our desired future condition of these various indicators, and then we can use that baseline to design projects on the river to actually make the river a better place for social and ecological values. Part of what we tried to do was move the river off of the road, route it out through an area where there's good riparian vegetation on both sides. We've been removing the crack willows, which they're a tree that doesn't belong here that has sort of dominated, and they keep the good trees from being able to grow. So we're selectively removing them, replacing them with the trees that we want, and over time, we would like to continue to do that so you get trees that are actually appropriate for this setting and that are the native trees. By restoring the river to its natural meanderings, uh, we were able to help with the flooding issues but also create some great trail and park space. And as we continue to improve that, there will be some larger areas of the river that are swimming holes, fishing holes. They'll be large enough to bring a kayak or a paddleboard and play around. So I think it's a real asset to our community if we can open up these spaces and allow people to really get back and experience the river. So we're continuing to try to keep the vision of the Conservation Action Plan and Logan River Restoration alive. We're looking at several other potential projects that we might do along the river. And once we figure out exactly the types of projects that we can do, and design those projects, again, we'll be looking for some additional funding to actually be able to put those on the ground.